One of the major things to know about when we're setting up our Svelte example for getting started, there's a difference between Svelte and Svelte Kit. Svelte Kit is a meta framework that we can build on. It's actually using Vite under the hood. Just know that this is the easiest way to get started using Svelte. Just know that you can use Svelte without Svelte Kit, but I would highly recommend using Svelte Kit to build out your applications. There's a lot of other tools like Astra that you can use and also just use Svelte. So here's an example of Astra.js using Svelte, and you can use all the normal Svelte commands. However, in this course, we're going to continue to use SvelteKit as our example, as we'll continue building out and learning SvelteKit along with Firebase. The first thing that I like to do is to create my folder that I'm going to be working from. So if we first start by doing a directory, so I'll just do make dir, and then Svelte Firebase course. We can then go into that directory by cd, change directory, and then we can say git init. And that will create us a nice initialized Git repository that we can work from. Now, because we're going to later create a Firebase application too, we're going to do pmp init to first initialize our project and have a package.json. This will also allow us to use pmp workspace. Now that we have our initial workspace set up, we can go in and create a new directory called apps. This will be where all of our applications end up getting created. Now the next step is to let PMP know that we're going to be using workspaces. So we're going to create a new file called pmp-workspace.yaml. This is just the YAML file that we can describe where our different applications will be in our environment. For us, that means we can specify packages. And within packages, we're actually going to do apps slash star. That would be normally if you're just doing one level, but in Firebase, we're gonna include some functions. So we'll do slash star star at the end of this. And that's all we need to do for our workspaces. Now make sure you CD into your apps workspace, and then we'll go ahead and create our Svelte kit application. So we can run the command PMP create Svelte, and this will walk us through the different CLI options that we have for Svelte kit. Here in the first option, we're going to specify svelte-site for our SvelteKit application. We're going to choose a skeleton project using TypeScript, including Prettier and ESLint. Now you can see in the sidebar here, we have our SvelteKit application on the left. One addition that we want to make is adding a git ignore file so that we don't pick up any of our node modules as we continue building out this project. Here you can see in this file, we have just a few different items that are listed as the top level items. .ds store and node modules are pretty important. The .env might come in place later on, but that is probably more important in the .ignore files within each application. Now that we have everything in place, we can run the pmpm install, i is for short, and this will install all of the packages within all of the workspace entirely. If you are not in the apps felt site, make sure you cd into that, and then you should be able to run pmpm dev. Now if you click the hyperlink by local, it should go to localhost with port 5173, and this will bring up our default site.